Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Evil Golf. Today, we are going on a field trip to the PGA Tour Superstore in Fairfax, Virginia, with a special mission. Today, we're checking out putters. That's right. We're getting a brand new putter for the 2024 season, and I wanted to take you along with me. I also got my buddy Adam Butler along for the ride, so just hang on in there and uh, let's see how this goes. Alright folks, so I am back. I am here at the PGA Tour Superstore in Fairfax, Virginia. I'm about to get sized up for a putter. I've never done a putter fitting before. This is going to be my first time. I'm excited about it. Uh, the way it works is they measure out my stroke and check and give me some kind of idea on what's the best putter for me. I'm looking forward to the experience, man, because I got my eye on a couple of putters, but I want to make sure it's the exact right one, especially when you're going to make a big investment like this today. So, all right, y'all rolling with me. Let's get it. So the first thing we did was get the measuring device calibrated to my stroke. Then, of course, I took a few putts to get the measurements. And the results were actually very fast. My man Harris explained to me that it looks like I should consider changing to a more toe balanced mallet style putter, which is great because that's exactly what I was hoping for. See how that toe is dipping down? Yep. It does not want you to have that. You should be having something that is straight up. That's just, you could put your martini on there. <laughs> I prefer an old fashioned, but yes. Okay, old fashioned <laughs> is even better. My guy was extremely knowledgeable and really helpful. He gave me more information on what kind of lie angle and even like the putter length that might help me out. And he even sent me the full four page report which had all the information I could possibly use. And for the record, this isn't a sponsored video. Just a real day in my life. Meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, the brother Adam Butler came with me. You know what I'm saying? My man and let's Sneakers. Yeah, we got, you know, it's a rainy day. So it's a rainy day. Today, Check out Sneaks in the City. Tell them about Sneaks in the City, brother. Sneaks in the City, man. Actually, that's a passion project for me, man. I love my city. I love Washington, D.C. And obviously, I love sneakers. So it's just an opportunity to really, like, learn about the city, learn about sneakers, and go on my daily travels. It's a vlog. It's a city vlog. It's really cool. Check it out. Check it out. Because you're going to see more fly, fly business like these. <laughs> All right, back to business. Next, he had a look at my current putter, which we determined was pretty long, and then he recommended that I stay with a larger putter grip. Then that was it. I was all set. Let the search commence. You are enlightening me today, man. All thank right. you. Sneaks in the city. Sneaks, sneaks and it, the city. Sneaks and the city. I'm going there right now. Hey, right. thank you, man. You got Appreciate it. it. My pleasure. Thanks Harris. a lot. My man. My man Harris gave me a lot of good information. I'm excited to keep uh, checking out these putters so I know what I'm looking for. So rock with me. Let's get it. All right, so here are the contenders. First, we got the Scotty Cameron Phantom 9. This piece of hotness fit the description to a T. Mallet, check. Toe balance, check. Easy on the eyes, absolutely. Next up, we got the Odyssey AI1 Milled 7T, and this one was a hottie also. The blue finish and the gold plate were absolutely stunning. And of course, I gotta take them for a spin, right? First up was the Odyssey. This one felt smooth and easy to hit. It was a very light feel. Next was the Scotty. This one was a bit heavier with a more significant sound. And notice how I had the toe elevated a touch. What I'm teaching, it's not like a regular club where you have it slightly toe up. You want this thing completely flat on the ground, mm -hmm. and then you build your stance. I see you with a toe up mm. to a certain degree, and that has a tendency to make the ball go left. Decisions, decisions. I got to say, like, trying out the ping, or no, not the ping, the Odyssey, it felt pretty good. It was kind of smooth coming off of there. I kind of like the sound, um, but the... Uh, the Scotty was a little clicky. It was a little clicky, but it still felt pretty good. And the ball rolled really nicely. So we got a decision to make. All right. So a late entry was the Scotty Cameron Phantom 5 to replace the Phantom 9. This one was also toe balanced and the correct length. I knocked it around to get a good feel for it. Then, of course, it was time. Time to make a choice. 
All right, so it was a tough decision to make. You know, between the Odyssey and the Scotty, I gotta say, Scotty wins, man. Scotty wins. It was something about the weight, um, the way it felt hitting the ball, the sound, the feel. It was pretty nice. So we're bagging it up. Let's see how it does on the course. Let's go. I gotta say, man, every single human in this building has been very helpful. Yeah, they've been extremely helpful, man. Um, I can't say enough good things about this place. This is what, PGA Tour Superstore in Fairfax, Virginia. I think you can just pluck an employee and they will bend over backwards for you. So yeah, come and check them out if you're in, in the Virginia DMV area, man. Good people. And that's it, folks. Thanks a lot for watching this episode of Evil Golf. I really appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. I appreciate all my new subscribers. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. What you putting this year? What's in your bag for 2024? All right, that's it. Until next time, folks.